what's going on? We back with the boxing clinic. The more y'all know what it is. One time for the one time, we back grinding and talking a real trip boxing talk. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, so you know we upload and go live and share, share, share. That's the most important thing above everything. Share the videos, man. Takes it to somebody that like boxing. You know, put it, put it, put it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Definitely appreciate everybody that's been doing that, donating and subscribing as well, and following us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. All that information is in the description as well. And I'm sitting here watching Christian Hammer and, and uh, I think it's with Tori Nelson, um, you know, fighting. I was going to go to the fight, but uh, you know, I reached out to, to the promoter to get some credentials. Um, you know, didn't even reach me back. So, uh, Sanati, whatever promotions. So, you know, I'm not giving them my money, man. They could have gave me a rebuttal or something, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, I'll be covering the fight hopefully July 20, uh, 13th. You know, one of the promoters in Detroit reached out to me, you know, um, wanted me to cover the fight at the Motor City uh, signboard. And got, got a lot of good young Detroit town on there as well. But we about to get into the video. I know y'all ready. But um, Arizona Lara called out Jamel Charlo. It ain't the first time he called him out. Um, obviously, her beat him to the punch um, because Jamel, brother Jamal Charlo, um, at the Barclay Center and one of the conference rooms told, uh, told, uh, you know, his brother that, you know, that fight ain't going to happen because Jamil, Jamal, here's Andy Laura helped groom them, you know, he helped groom them. And, um, you know, he trained, they all trained with Ronnie Shields. Laura helped groom them. And Laura said they're still friends to this day and, and all that good stuff. We know Jamil went all, all over to, uh, he went over to Derrick James in Dallas. And he had a a, a issue with um, with Ronnie Shields in the Vines fight. But Ronnie Shields kind of, you know, was talking to him crazy. He didn't like the disrespect. And then they were talking about the money split. Basically, it was over the disrespect. And also, Jamel had a really, really close and tough fight with Vines Montrosian. He wanted to become more of an aggressive fighter, so he went over to Derrick James. Um, and his brother, Jamal, said that they wasn't going to fight unless he said they was going to fight between Arizona and Jamel, because he's in between, because he's obviously Team Jamel. That's his twin brother, but he's still trained with Aries Laura. Lara. And, um, and I heard through the grapevine, and I don't know how true it is, that um, Jamal said if they do fight, um, that, um, you know, he might you know he might just stop fucking with Ronnie Shields and Aries Lundy Lara. So, um, you know, he can, you know, basically he can lose a, uh, he can lose a, uh, a fighter, Ronnie Shields. You know, I don't know how true it is, and I know they've been. I have been hearing through the grapevine they've been trying to get Jamal Charlo to Derrick James' camp anyway. So that's the situation right there. And um, and like I said, man, uh, Arizona Delar called him out. He said, and "I'll put the link in the description for boxing scene as usual. I link all my articles and sources." And he says that um, you know, not a herd out here, you know, ducking away, ducked away. Um, from the WBA uh, order rematch. That's what people don't know. WBA ordered the rematch between Lara and Herb. And now, because Herb was looking for an exception, you know, to get out that rematch. But, you know, Lara says now that, you know, Herb out the way with his injury, he want to fight, uh, you know, Charlo. And for, for Charlo, ain't no other way to go. Unless he want to fight J-Rock and keep following up his brother's opponents. You know, because ain't, ain't no other way to go. Seriously. There's no other way to go for uh, Jamal, for Jamel Charlo. Or for Aries Andy Laura, really, Aries Andy Laura could fight the regular WBA champion and Brian Cas uh, Carlos Castano, and that's a dangerous fight for him as well. It's a fight he very he very much can lose, and he can very much lose to Charlo. Charlo could fight the regular WBA champion, but Brian Castano will have to give up his WB his WBA regular title to to make that fight happen for the championship. And uh, I'm not sure how high he's ranked, even if I don't even know if he's ranked since he's a regular WBA champion. So, uh, you know. That's something to look at, but, you know, this is the fight, I guess. You know, and according to the article, and we already know that, Showtime was proceeding to make um, Charlo and Heard. And at the end of the day, um, they, they couldn't make that fight because Heard knew that. And all of a sudden, he, he, he spurned his shoulder injury up. And I'm pretty sure Steven Espinosa wanted to fight Heard and, Char Heard and Charlo next. And they said Al Hammond wanted Heard and Charlo next. And they wanted to kind of say that for their big mystery pay-per-view. Part of they, I'm not saying that's going to be the pay-per-view. But they wanted that fight to be part of their big mystery pay per view. That's what I, the vibe I got from Stephen Espinosa in the interview they did. But um, you know, it ain't gonna happen. So 
They need to go ahead and make this fight, man. If, if, if Jamal Charlo is a casualty to leaving Ronnie Shields and going somewhere else because of this fight, so be it. Because there's no other big fight for these guys. Brian, uh, uh, Brian Castanos, he's been fighting over his last four fights in France. So he don't have no buzz in America. And it's a tough fight for Jamel Charlo. It was a tough fight for her. And, P and, and if, if Charlo, Jamel fight like he did versus Austin Trout versus Lara, um, he could be in a bit of trouble. He got to be more of, he got to find a meshing point. He got to be aggressive but still bring those boxing skills that he got. Because he can box and, and on the back foot and move and be slick and be athletic and counter punch. And he also could be aggressive. He's a well-rounded fighter, but now it's time to find a balance. It's, fine. it's time to implement all of that in this game. And it's time for it to manifest into one beautiful um, portrait. And um, with, with, with Laura, we don't know how Laura is going to be coming back. If he's going to have his faculty. That was a really, really bruising tough fight. That fight kind of you know, reminded you of the Sergio Martinez and Chavez Jr. fight. Where he, in a different fashion, Martinez won. But he, he lost his prime dealing with a, a bigger opponent in the ring that night. So that's something definitely to look at from uh from that standpoint. But for Charlo, this is gonna be a second fight with a low risk, you know, a high risk, low reward. Because if he beats Alara, no matter what shape or fashion he beat him with, well, you know what? Her beat him first. You know, her knocked him out in this round or her just beat him first. He softened it up for, for Charlo. And and for Charlo, you know, it's another one of them fights, man. It's just it's just it, it makes you want to it question, if I'm him, it questioning my, the way my management and, and the way my team is moving me. You know, seriously, I'm questioning it. Even though this might be my first time at being a main event, I mean, first they put me on the card versus Austin Trout, you know, after her beat him, which it did nothing for my career but get me booed out of L.A. Now they be put me against another herd opponent where all it's going to do is, is get me compared to herd, and not only just that, you know, if I don't knock him out or if I don't, you know, you know, even if I knock him out and beat him easy or beat him with the snap of my fingers, I'm st people still going to say Hurd did it first. So right now, it ain't really, you know, that team ain't really doing much for his image right now, man, to be honest. You know, and they're not, you know, but him sitting at 54, ain't too many other options. It ain't nothing that any other team can do for him, you know. So basically, it's just try to fight Lara. Or try to get Jaime Maguire in the fight at the end of the year. Other than that, you know, you know Brian Castanos, you know, I don't think he want them problems or want to fight him because, you know, the risk don't match the reward. You know, this dude don't have a risk that matches the reward fight at, at Junior Midway. This is, for, for Lara, it could mean retirement, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is for him. He didn't already made his mark on the sport of boxing. You know, it's an important fight for him, too. But for Har Charlo, it's one of them high risk, them high risk, low reward type fights, man. I know he tired of that shit, man. And he probably looking at the money. People said money right this and that. At the end of the day, you want to be in a meaningful fight. And he wanted her, and her did that shit on purpose. Obviously, Showtime and Al Heyman didn't know about the shoulder injury. Like I said, man, these, these dudes is flawed. Uh, but Charlo need to go ahead and um, you know fight Lara and just get it over with, unless he want to move up and try to fight for a belt or something that at middleweight or something. But other than that, he ain't moving up. But it's the Boston Clinic of Morris, your boy CJ Goodfella. Um, and we're going to continue to keep it moving, man. Shout out to the homie Black Fight fan, man. And, and all the LDBC movement, man. We all, you know, whatever you is, watch TBC in between. We all going to help and continue to do this new media movement. They they looking at us, man. So the spotlight is on. And we've been shining. We're going to continue to shine. We're going to go out our way to fuck that day up. But we're going we gonna to do what we do. You know, take over this boxing itch. Y'all know what it is. We out.